So, I think I have now something to tell you about the fact sheets and everything. You like continue that. now. Yes, Sophie. I continue now and please welcome over the stage again on the later stage. So, me and the fact sheets, that's a very dangerous combination because I could talk hours of fact sheets. Uh, but uh, I have only 10 minutes, so that, that, that's not going to be the case. So what do I have to deliver now after this great speech of Mr. Hoban is to take a closer look what we've uh, done uh, during this Lucia project. Uh, so something about the fact sheets. Uh, we have uh, originally in the application we promised to deliver 15 fact sheets. Uh, or at least 12. Well, we did 15. And we were very enthusiastic this and, and, and we translated those, those 15 fact sheets are already existing in, in five different languages. But I think this enthusiasm also got infected to our dear colleague Sif Enewald in, in Denmark and she also produced five more fact sheets. So all together there is 20. This is quite a family. And uh, we love the fact sheet because the format is so nice and, and it forces us to really pick, the, pick those uh, right topics and, and right words. We do not have any space to spare. We have to be very conscious. And th therefore, we are really enthusiastic about this, I would say. Uh, but now my uh, duty is to tell something about the economy part itself. There is, in this bunch of facts, there are four economy facts. And uh, hopefully you can find those topics relevant today, but even, even tomorrow also. And you can find all these facts from the uh, Lucia website from the resources page and it's, there is also a link on the landing page to, to resources. But also after the project they will be available also in Lucy Knowledge Center and there is uh, more information about Lucy Knowledge Center later on in the program. But I take key takeaways, three key takeaways from the first fact sheet here because I feel these could be, in a way, tangible way how to approach this question, especially if you're working in municipalities, in, in, in this uh, planning department of, of thinking how things should be, or what, how to think about this urban, urban lightning as such inside the city. So the first advice is that sustain and grow the scale of smart urban lighting investments. And Basically, this could be an easy thing to do because we know we have lots of experiences about uh, changing, recovering uh, old technique to the new one and uh, let technology is, is developing rapidly and, and everything. We have, this is tested, so just go for it. And second is that uh, use this smart urban lighting to put the energy transition economics at the core of your city's climate action strategy. Again, partly the same reasons as previous. We know how to do this, and you really can make the impact by doing this. And double, let's say, learnings or, or hint for the future is double your city efforts towards empowering citizens and building new collaboration structures. So this is what we previously also heard that this citizen empowerment, it's, it's important and get the residents together to struggle and solve these kind of questions. Then, uh, what else? The three other fact sheets. There are things about financing, procurement, governance, key performance indicators and, and, and these kind of things. Uh, life cycle costs, calculations, rebound effect, and risk management. Uh, this calculation, for example, we developed a small uh, Excel tool to help you to 
uh, evaluate what you are going to do and give some nice figures how it should look like and then also evaluate after you have done it what is the solution, how did it well. And uh, this is mainly for helping people in the city, inside the city organization to justify what they are really doing if you are really taking steps to move forward with, with city lighting. And the uh, fourth is about multifunctionality and uh, this kind of a management of this smart city marketplace. This is funny because this marketplace word is already, oh, it's also coming up our fact sheets. And that means that we can collect different kind of data out of this with this technology from lampposts. We have, we have lots of opportunities to do. And there are questions then, who owns the data? Uh, is there a, will there be some kind of a smart city marketplace with this data? We'll see. So how to make it happen? This is uh, five uh, hints for the future in my opinion, what we've learned during Lucia. Be curious about what the new technology has to offer. Uh, we have learned something in Lucia. Uh, one, work, one part of this work package was, was this technology part, and really Tallinn University of Technology was the responsible for that and really look through about what's happening on that side. But it develops all the time. Tomorrow we have new solutions. And so I encourage you to be curious what is happening and, and get to know these things. And again, I have to mention that this Lucy Knowledge Center is one place to be to get this up-to-date information what is happening. Then, manage the knowledge from, di from data to wisdom and all the steps between those. Because uh, this knowledge management is also one part of the smart city development. And now, if we a little bit scratch the surface with Lucia project, with city lights, we really can see that this is one, I would say, one key element for, for the future. Then, cooperate together with public and private sectors. And this, I mean, this is not only pointed to public sector, but also the private sector. They can really cooperate, to, they, can be, they can take the initiative towards the public sector, because there might, be, there might be some good ideas which are now lying somewhere behind or below the surface, but more dialogue, more interaction between private and public. And this also includes the property owners, because in the city, infrastructure, city, cityscape, this private uh, public, uh, private uh, uh, property owners have very significant role. And then all this, what you learned, what we've learned, we need to deliver this information to policymakers so that they could feel that this is something to work for, this is something tangible, that's something that we really can go forward, and uh, yes. And the last one, my favorite, uh, a bit rude, but anyhow, explode the organizational silos. Uh, this is something uh, what, which, is, which we really get into when, when doing this uh, Lucia project. Not specific in any, any specific municipality, for example, but it's kind of, uh, this happens, you know this happens, that people who are really doing their uh, things, very deep expertise, they build their silos, maybe an accident, but explode them if you have enough, enough power or enough uh, fire. So I think that was my part, 10 minutes, like I promised, about fact sheets, Heike, don't ask anything about fact sets because then it's another 10 minutes again, but certainly yes. you can say something. Okay, thank you so much, Topi, for, for the development, the explanation on fact sheets. That was really good, and it is really an important pillar within the project. Um, 
One question, a short one. Mr. Hoban said that he is really thinking in long-term aspects, long-term developments. Do you think? And on the other hand, he said, you know, we really have to accelerate, of course. Do you think that fact sheets can contribute that cities can work more efficient? Can that be a good pillar for them? Uh, of course, I would say that yes, it could be one pillar. But now we'll see how the how the uh, cities and all those take those fact sheets. But uh, as far as I know, it, it has raised interest. It, there are many many stakeholders which are interested about what we've done, and they really want to see the fact sheets. So hopefully, the audience also who. Now, if you're not in the, in the smart city marketplace matchmaking, then the next stop is our fact sheet resource base. So go there and grab them. And, and if you want those uh, printed versions, there might be some. And please contact a nearest Lucia person near you so Good. we can deliver.